Saturday night here at Yost Ice Arena, the Michigan hockey team was looking to get back on a winning track after dropping a 4-2 decision to 10th-ranked Nebraska Omaha on Friday night. And the Wolverines got the job done, winning 6-1. Before the game got underway, Michigan head hockey coach Red Berenson was honored after becoming just the sixth coach all-time to reach 700 wins. He did it a couple weeks back with a 4-1 win over Bowling Green. The coach was greeted as he took the ice by a representative of each of his 27 teams here at Michigan. Michigan Athletic Director Dave Brandon presented Berenson with this crystal trophy commemorating the historic win. They caught me by surprise. I had no idea that all these players were coming back. I knew they were going to give me a, 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 an acknowledgement of the 700th win, but uh, and I'm glad and I appreciate Dave Brandon and the department for doing that. On the other hand, to have all those players back, that was pretty special. So appreciate all those guys coming back. You're so businesslike. I can imagine you were torn, torn, trying to get prepared for the game, and yet you probably want to stop and talk to everybody. Well, I, I do, and, and I would, and uh, and so on. But, yeah, the game is number one. You hope a ceremony like that doesn't distract from the game. You know, we had parents weekend the night before, and we didn't have a great game, and we really needed to have a bounce-back game tonight, and we did. So I... You know, I appreciate everything went the right way tonight. So what's with the offensive outburst? Uh, a little puck luck, I think, but uh, just giving the puck to the net, just working hard, I think it's uh, turning out on some goals. Obviously, after last night, this has to feel good. Uh, yeah, it feels good. I mean, they really took it to us last night. Um, we had, they had us on our heels the whole game. They're a very good team, but uh, we, we really responded well tonight. Give us an idea what Red was like after last night's game and what Red was like after tonight's game. Uh, very unhappy Red last night. Uh, a little bit more happy Red this tonight. We really showed up today, every single one of us. We knew we had to play different uh, compared to last night, so we all came out with a lot of desperation. We threw a lot of pucks to the net, and you know, we found rebounds and uh, you know all kinds of shots. You know, Scooter had two great shots that went in, and you know it's fun to play when everyone's working hard. Looked like last night you turning the puck over, and tonight your guys were forcing the turnovers. Was it that simple? Well, that was a part of the game, and we played harder. I mean, we played on our toes instead of our heels. We played with a lot more intensity and determination and even patience, and we moved the puck better. We were better offensively, and we were better defensively. A guy like Carl Hagelin scored a lot of beautiful goals in his career here at Michigan, and tonight was more kind of grinder-like goals. Well, and good for Carl. Like, he's learning how to play North American hockey, and uh, and he went to the net. He, he fired the puck and then got his own rebound, fired again. But he's playing well, and, you know, we switched up the lines a little bit tonight and put Carl with Louie, and, and that didn't hurt him. And Scooter Vaughn again chips in after a couple goals his first three years. Now he's scoring for you a lot. Well, you know, he's getting shots on the net, and, and I'm, I think he's surprised they go in. I'm surprised they go in, but they're going in. And uh, we're seeing a lot of ugly goals going in the net these days, and uh, why not Scooter? And obviously your guy Brian Hogan between the net gets the job, the pin, between the pipes gets the job done, and that's a team effort too. Well, that's huge, and yet Hogie, he had to stand tall, especially in the second period and then parts of the third when they were coming at us hard early in the third. But uh, it's easier for us to score when we're only giving up a minimal number of goals. And last night we gave up four. Tonight we gave up one. That's the difference. The Wolverines back in action this coming Friday at Ferris State before returning to Yost Ice Arena for a Saturday night affair against the Bulldogs. From Yost Ice Arena, for MGoBlue.com, I'm Doug Karsh.